Welcome to this video on preparing for our 2020 vision. This is a three-part video. So part one is going to be on the largest context around the 26,000 year shift of the ages, so important for us to be aware of. And this is way bigger than that so-called age of Aquarius that many talk about. That is referring to a 2,160 year shift. But what we're gonna look at is this 26,000 year shift of the ages. And we're also gonna look at the rare alignment of Saturn, Jupiter, and Pluto, and Capricorn, and how to work with that in 2020 or to understand that in 2020. And then in part two, we're gonna feature these planets and how to view them in 2020 to get your own direct messages and to work with these energies. And then in the third video, we're going to look at ways to participate to seed people with this remarkable time. So we're gonna first start out by looking at why we're at a 26,000 year shift of the ages. So what we're seeing here in this slide is the purple line is the plane of the galaxy. And you can see the Milky Way band surrounding this exact center point of this plane. We also see the plane of our solar system. It is the plane that the, we see the planets on. It's also called the ecliptic. It's the path of the planets and the path of the sun through our sky that we see when we look out into the sky. And these two planes intersect forming a cross and is also in the area of the sky that is connected to galactic center, the center of our galaxy. And what's happening now in this time is that the sun is on the cross at the December solstice for at least three days. Solstice means standstill of the sun, and the sun stands still for three days. And really about three weeks, it's not moving very much. It's standing pretty still for about three weeks before the, uh, or about a week and a half before the exact solstice then after. So it's pretty remarkable time. And that only now, probably we could say this processional cycle, the sun will be in every constellation over 26,000 years at the December solstice or at any seasonal point, you could pick any seasonal point to start with. Well, it takes, uh, it moves one degree every 72 years. And that began happening in 1962 and goes until 2034, if we look at the 72 year window. If we look at the one degree before and the one degree after, we could extend that window to 144 years or from 1926 to 2070. Either way, we're in it now. And this is happening on the galactic cross, so the, the um, plane of the galaxy and the plane of the solar system, with the sun at the December solstice rising right on that cross between the constellations of the archer and the scorpion. And these are beautiful, amazing constellations to look out and see at the night sky. Although this time of year, as we're approaching the December solstice, not so easy to see, much easier to see in the summer and uh, late spring and summertime as uh, they come into the, into the sky. You can see them in the morning sky, uh, probably starting in January or so, and uh, January or February. So this is just so amazing to be able to see this part of the sky and to know that at the December solstice, this is where the sun is rising and it's letting us know we're at a major shift of time, a time you know, the, the great wheel of time is shifting. And also because um, the Milky Way extends across uh, the sky into the edge of the galaxy, at the June solstice sun is rising at the other cross. And here the green line is representing the plane of the solar system and this Purple line is representing the uh, plane of the galaxy where they cross. The sun is right here at the June solstice, also on the cross for three days and around three weeks, very close to this point. And what's interesting about this part of the sky is the Celtic people called the constellation of Orion the high man. And when the sun was on the hand of the high man at a seasonal shift, it was a major turning of an age. And so we've got that happening too. And this can only happen in this way every 26,000 years. So we know that we're in an amazingly important time. And there have been so many important astrological, planetary alignments, things going on in the last, all the years that I've been doing this work since 1990 has been blowing my mind. And in 2020 is no exception. 
because we have three outer planets. We've got Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter coming together in Capricorn. And it's the first time they've been in Capricorn together in 173-33 years. And what we can imagine that this is creating in um, our reality, because if we understand as above, so below, as below, so above, as within, so without, as without, so within, everything is connected and everything is one and the same. So what is happening in the sky is what's happening in our reality and what's happening in our reality is reflected by what's happening in the sky. We inform the mysteries as much as they inform us. So this is a time for restructuring the pillars of our reality or our current culture. And we, and we could imagine these four main pillars are government, economics, religion, education. And we can see that there are massive changes that are taking place really literally in all of these areas. And we're also uh, restructuring our relationship to ourselves and to the earth and to each other. It's just an amazingly powerful time. So the, the details are that in 2008, Pluto entered Capricorn for the first time in 248 years. And it, it was all about dismantling, dissolving, you know, uh, taking out, the, starting to, it started the crumbling of the old structures and it began with an economic collapse in 2008. And this is ongoing until 2024 that we have Pluto and Capricorn to dismantle these old structures because literally if something new is going to birth, the old has to die. So in 2017, uh, Saturn entered Capricorn for the first time in nearly 30 years. And it is all about how do we wisely create new sustainable structures, but first we have to let go of the old ones, like the snake shedding its skin. And the old structures, maybe they worked, maybe, you know, maybe they could have worked better, but, uh, but it's time to shed them so we can get into the newer structures. So we need a vision around how that's gonna happen. And we don't have to know the details, we just need to be focused on the fact that we can create a world that works for everyone, not only for the people, but for the plants and the animals and the entire planet. In 2019, at the end of 2019, Jupiter goes into Capricorn, and that happens about every 12 years, and that is expanding our vision of what's possible, and also expanding our understanding of what actions will help bring this new empowered vision into form. And one of the things I love here in this image of Pluto is that, that it looks like there's a heart. And so this is intended to be done with heart. And so these planets are working together. And one of the things we want to look at is the fact that Pluto is an underworld initiator. It's guiding and teaching us to face our fears, to look at our shadow, and then to be willing to transform to when we are willing to face those darker parts of ourselves, we access our inner genius. This is the story of Aladdin going into the underworld to get the magic lamp, real, not realizing that it's really the magical part of himself that he has forgotten. And this is our opportunity. We get to go into the underworld to find that magical part of ourselves we have forgotten so that we can access our inner genius or our inner genie that's within us so that we can create a new world um, by accessing the tr inner treasures that we all carry. So this is an inner alchemy process that occurs when we are willing to surrender, when we're willing to face our fears, when we're willing to transform them with the light of awareness. It's bringing the darkness to light. And it also is very similar to the caterpillar becoming a butterfly. So literally when the caterpillar goes into the cocoon or the chrysalis, it is dying to its caterpillar self. The, its body dissolves, it goes into a primordial goo, and then it turns into a butterfly. And then the butterfly is birthed, not an easy process, not, it's very challenging, but when the butterfly comes out, it has a whole new life, one that it can't, couldn't have ever imagined as a caterpillar. And we could imagine that one butterfly might say to a newly birthed butterfly, that everything you learned as a caterpillar doesn't apply. It's a whole new way of being. So that's the opportunity we have. We can also imagine that because we've been in this dying world, that we can expand our vision around what is unsustainable versus what is sustainable and we can take action towards 
creating a more sustainable reality and that the magic can happen that our ability to do this there are so many things that are happening in the world now that are people are coming up with brilliant ideas of how to restore the land and the earth and the soil and uh, take the plastics out of the oceans all the crazy things that have been having happening so like the snake shedding its skin we really must tear down all the old unsustainable structures and uh, or cause them, you know, allow them to die, allow them to go away, allow them to be gone so that something new can replace it that will support everyone and that will support the earth. That is the process we're in and we can really see it happening. So this is what we want to create. We want to create new sustainable things that will last over time into the generations to come. This is very much a Capricorn perspective that will thrive and that will serve everyone, not just the people, but the planets and the plants and the animals and everything that is on the earth that has life here on the earth at this time. So that's the opportunity that we have and we'll look more deeply at this in the follow-up videos. If you wanna find out more about this and other things and ways that you can be um, participate with what's going on, uh, you can go to kaylincastell.com or celestialtimings.com, takes you to the same place. Um, also the Venus Cycle, Venus Alchemy, and I am the co-founder of the Shamanic Astrology Mystery School and a lot of this information is the result of the work that has been done in the Shamanic Astrology Mystery School over many years. So we'd love to have you join us and participate in whatever way works for you as we dream the dream onward into a new world, into a new sustainable, flourishing, thriving world.